A sure sign of spring is the annual Kootenai Ice Road Hockey game as the team squares off against the kids. It's always nice on um, this event every year. We always seem to get good weather, so that's pretty lucky. Um, right around this time every week, every year. So obviously the kids love it. Um, you know, you see us having fun too. It's very important to get out in the community and, and, and get involved with the kids. Um, I think the kids are having a, a great time today. Back in uh, when I lived in Thunder Bay, I'd always go out with the university team and do skates with them and I mean it always had such a big impact on me so it's nice to come out here and know that you have a big impact on these kids. Growing up I always used to go to junior hockey games and, and um, you know NHL games and, and I, I grew up you know idling these these people and we're in that position right now so uh, you know it's, it's great giving back. Of course at the same time it's obviously important to avoid any injuries. The last time I was in Cranbrook uh, 10 or 12 years ago, I think uh, Jarrett Stoll rolled his ankle playing basketball right before the playoffs. So, you know, I think these guys are, they're not really running very hard and they're having some fun. So as long as nobody gets hit in the head with a rock, I think we'll be okay. While the game may be all about fun, that's not to say it's not competitive. Yeah, they go, they go pretty hard and, uh, I mean, you get a couple sticks in the shins and in the hands, but it's all in fun. There's definitely some, uh, you know, some uh, battles that develop. So the strategy for the ice is simple. Very short shifts. I mean, uh, quick, quick, hard dump and change. And uh, you're in, you're out, and, uh, you know, bang, bang some bodies out there and, and come back to the bench. I see you're uh, sort of standing over there next to the goaltender. What do you call that position? Um, I don't know. Frankie's not very good back there, so I guess we need someone helping him out. <laughs> He's not coming to me for advice. He's, uh, I mean, I don't know, he just thinks he can do it on his own and then he's taking that and, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just got to keep the team in there. And with Zach Franco in goal, it's an opportunity for Mackenzie Skapsky to show another side of his game. I mean, I'd, I'd say I'm a better player than goalie, but, I mean, Gilly puts me back in goal and I'd, I'd rather be a forward, but I, I've told him that, but uh, he always puts me back in goal, so... So this is your chance to show them what you got. This is my chance to show them what I got. I mean, the quick shifts I have here and there, I can show them, show them my hands, show them my shot, and show them my speed, and and uh, hopefully, you know, it throws me in one game. Any shyness was quickly overcome as these kids went head to head with the players they look up to. Initially, they're a little bit shy, but I mean, I think you got to crack them open a little bit with a little hook or, or a little slash, and and then they really start to open up, and and you know, you really start to have a little fun with them. After the game, a big team photo and a few autographs would cap off the special day. For Go Kootenays in Cranbrook, I'm Blaine Evans.